Good afternoon, family and friends. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good and great. Enjoying your life wherever you are. Because life is good. Life is great. Life is the best. Your life is the best. Which is why you must enjoy it. I welcome you to the woke nation where we spread the knowledge of factual truth, sharing knowledge about every issue without fear, without favor, without faint, because we matter. We have the will and the power to make things happen. We have the brain to think for ourselves in every issue. We don't need anyone to think for us. We think for ourselves. We can judge any issue because we use our head. Our head, our world. That's how we're connected to the universe, the infinite knowledge, infinite wisdom, infinite understanding, infinite everything. And we are part of that universe, this universe. It's not a spiritual thing. It's not a religious thing. It is a natural thing. Yes. I continue on the series I started uh, last week about the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, the slave master's prayer taught to the slaves to be recited or to be prayed. If any good thing will happen to them, if they won't beat them to death, if they won't lynch them, they must pray that prayer. So today is the sixth part of it. And the sixth is number of what? Number of man. That's what they say in their book. And in the same book, they turn that number into the number of beasts. They call it 666. Six, six. We are the 666. Six, six. They turned us. They manufactured us into beasts, although we are the original people, but they turned us into beasts, enslaved us, stole our land, stole our invention, stole our, and, and destroy our history, destroy our culture, destroy our things, even stole our heritage. But as I've been saying to all of us, no slavery condition is permanent. No slavery condition is permanent. The sun will shine again. The truth shall prevail. Africans are regaining their place in the world again. They, they are waking up. They are rising. And no force, no God, no devil, no demon, no Jesus, no Mary, no religion, no faith, no belief can stop us. We are the Akebulans, which they never taught us in school. We are not Egyptians. We are the ancient Egyptians. We are one with the sun. The sun will shine again. So they taught us, they forced us, they indoctrinated us, they, 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 they brainwashed us to recite that prayer as truth. They say, our Father, which art in heaven. This is why children, you know, embrace that prayer as the truth. Embrace the Bible as the truth. Embrace Islam as the truth. Embrace Quran as the truth. Embrace Christianity as the truth. Embrace Judaism as the truth. Embrace Cor uh, um, Torah as the truth. Because their religious parents keep reciting it, keep saying it, keep teaching it to them without anyone challenging them. When children observe things and nobody is challenging that and that children, they will accept that as the truth. I will repeat it. The reason why as children we embrace the Bible, the Quran, the Torah as the truth is because our beloved parents whom we, we trusted to know better than us, we are reciting it to us, teaching that to us without anyone challenging them. 
They say the truth. We grew up with that assertion. We believe, we, we grow up with that lie as the truth. That's how we become Christians, Muslims, and the Jews without anybody flogging us or putting chains around our neck, around our wrists, and around our legs. They force us through indoctrination they force us through brainwashing to accept the lies as the truth telling us that the lord which is the slave master in code they refuse to teach us that it was the slave master who taught our ancestors that prayer and how they taught that to our ancestors it was by force not voluntarily our ancestors our ancestors did not accept Christianity, Islam, or Judaism voluntarily. They forced them. They beat Jesus into them. They beat Muhammad into them. They beat Abraham into them. They beat Moses into them before they accept that. These people were so wicked that after, after they took our land, destroyed our heritage, we were feeding everyone around us without demanding anything from them, without robbing them, without invading their land. We have everything you need to live on earth without being in lack. We have everything. But these thieves, they came, stole, killed, and destroyed our great heritage, our great substance them force us to be begging for bread our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come that we be done on earth as it is in heaven then to them dealing on give us this day our daily bread they made us from people that used to supply bread to the whole world to a people who are begging for daily bread Maybe you, you did not hear me. Let me repeat it. They taunt us. They manufactured us. They programmed us from people who used to supply bread to the entire world. Free of charge. <laughs> they turn us into people who are begging for daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread is a prayer of slaves to the slave master who stripped them their identity who took their land who killed their ancestors and forced them to be begging for bread, even for the crops that is falling from the table they turned them into dogs although they were people who cared for themselves and for everyone as they loved everyone just as themselves they treated people as human beings not letting you go hungry whether you related to them or not not letting you be be tortured whether you related, related, related to them or not but they turn us into people who are begging for shelter who are begging for bread who are begging for meal they did that to us and they tell us it is the will of God. He wants us to be begging for bread. The people that used to have land are now begging bread. That's why you see some stupid Africans still believing that lie that you cannot survive without money. Our ancestors survived without money. Our ancestors lived without money. Our ancestors have the land. The land produce everything you need. You need if you have the land, you will survive. The only people that cannot survive are people who don't have land. Which is what you can see today, especially in America. Black people don't have land in America. See their life in America because they don't have land. And which you can see today in Africa, even some people that have land in Africa, they don't believe they can do anything with that land anymore, unless to build a house on it or sell it to do some business. But the riches in that land, they don't care about it. And the same land is where the white people are coming, taking the precious things in that land. 
The black people don't really care about that land, except what the white people tell them is in it. That's where, okay, it's there. Okay, okay. Give us this. Come and take it. Come and take it. And we are suffering, praying for daily bread, asking for one stupid God we have not seen, the stupid God that cannot show up in our time of need. They ask us to pray for daily bread while our children are dying of hunger. They ask us to pray, to, to, to pray for daily bread while our land is rich and green. Our land is not dry. Our land is rich and green. They know that. That's why they're still going to Africa. If Africa is a shithole, they, you wouldn't have seen any of their relations in Africa for anything. But they are the one who turned Africa into shithole and mocking Africans as people from shithole countries. They are wicked, very wicked. And the stupid Africans who believe what they are saying because they asked for daily bread, they gave them contract. Small business, they make money, build a house, have business. They say, hey, I have a, I'm living an American dream. My life is good, I'm rich. No, you are not, you are still poor. If any single person is still poor in Africa, you are poor. We were so blessed, and we are so blessed that our ancestors, no hungry people walking around in our land, because our land is rich. You're hungry, there is food around you. Food. You want fruit? The tree is there making it. You didn't pay the tree. Today we are buying fruit. It's not supposed to be so. The strangers are the ones that taught us to sell those things. We don't used to sell them. Sell them for what? I didn't pay for the tree to grow anything. So why am I making money? Selling it to people that need it. Think. Because they came, stole our land, mess up our land, mess up our life, kill our ancestors, stole our heritage, and tell us to pray the Lord's prayer, the slave master's prayer, the slave's prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. Let me bring it to family way so that so you can understand those of you Africans that are still far from what slavery, what invasion did to Africa. You are you have you have your parents or your father. Let me say your father was rich. He had bakery, making bread, feeding the whole community free of charge. A father that feed the whole community, his children will never beg for bread. Let me say it again. A father who made bread to feed the whole community, his own children will never beg bread. But the stranger, the enemy came and killed your father. Make life miserable for you and your mother and your siblings. And that same stranger said to you that every day you wake up, you must ask me for your daily bread bread made from your father's bakery bread made in your father's name but he changed that name to his name now you are begging bread from your father's bakery the same bakery is still feeding community but you the child or children of that man they killed is begging for daily bread the man started that bread feeding the whole community they look at what has happened to his family his wife his children they are all begging for bread the man is dead and the stranger is bragging that god has blessed them the one that killed your father to take what rightfully belonged to you and ask you to ask for a little of it daily for you to survive is saying that it is God who has blessed them and even force you to pray to that God the God who sent him to kill your father is the same God you are praying to and you think that God exists they are evil they are wicked these people are cannibals these people are not human beings like you as you think they tell you there is one race. No. 
It's not true. There is no such thing as one race. If there, there is one race, black people will not be where they are today. White people would have, would have not treated black people the way they treated them. Of course, you can go to war and defeat people, but enslaving them, stripping them their identity, that's inhumanity. It's not, there's no human, humanity in it. There's no way you can justify it. You are able to do that, to turn your fellow human beings into dogs, into horses, into animals. And that's why they ask you to believe the Lord is your shepherd, because they turn you into animals. Now you need shepherd. No, you don't need shepherd. You have a father. You have a mother. You are a human being. You are not an animal. The Lord is not my shepherd. And I shall not want, because I have the land that produce, produces what I need. If you don't have the land, if you cannot produce what you what, what to eat or what you need, that's when you become a, an animal in need of shepherd. That's when you begin to claim Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green parts of where? Makes you lie down where? They gave you religion, call it green pasture. They gave you faith and belief, call it green pasture. Look at your life. You are lying down in, on green pasture, yet your life is miserable. You cannot sleep peacefully in your own house. You said the Lord is your, is your protection. You believe in divine protection. But see the burglary proof all over your house. Your windows, your doors, even your walls now have been barricaded with iron so that people will not come and kill you in your own house. And you say you believe there is God, Almighty God, He can do all things. And you are, that God exists, Almighty God. You believe created the heaven and earth, He's rich. He said we supply your need according to His riches in glory. Yet you are praying for daily bread. <laughs> You are asking him for daily bread. Oh God. Hey, hey, blah, blah, blah. Adults, not even children. Oh yeah. You remember when you were a child, when your parents asked you to lead in prayers? <laughs> Father God, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I pray for my mother. My, the child is repeating the nonsense. He or she observed, learned from his or her parents. The child don't know whatever. The child know when he's hungry, he go to the kitchen. He's not going to any god. He's not, you know, he go to the kitchen. The parents must provide. And they know where the food is kept in the kitchen. You don't give it to the child, he steal it. Or he go outside and steal it. And you say it's the devil, it's not. It is you and your wicked God that you taught your children that God can supply your need. Why your children are begging? Why you are begging for daily bread? It's time you wake up. No condition is permanent. It's not late. If you begin now to realize that there is no such thing as Almighty God. And that religion is a scam. Christianity is a scam. Islam is a scam. Judaism is a scam. The Holy Bible is a holy lie. The Holy Quran is a holy lie. The Holy Torah is holy lie. Anything you call holy outside yourself, outside humanity, outside universe is lie. You need to wake up, my people, and live your life. Why are you begging for daily bread from a God you have not seen? They tell you it's your father in heaven. Why you are suffering on earth? If that father cares about you, he won't be in heaven and leave you on this earth. You say, oh, he left me here for a purpose. Which that for stupid purpose? Why you are suffering? Is suffering a good purpose for living? Is evil a good purpose for living? But you are repeating the same lies from the books of lies, religious books that they force on you through indoctrination and brainwashing. You are repeating the same lies, thinking you know what you are doing. That my Ghana guy who is making my uh, preparing, my, doing my uh, my task, he said yesterday, "Oh no, prayer works." You know, uh, he said, "No, some people will get consolation." I said, "That's all they get, consolation. That's it. But he cannot solve their problem." 
After all their prayers, they still have to get out there and work and make that money or make that thing happen. If they don't go, they will pray. Let God give you a job. He cannot. You have to go, apply for it, qualify for it, interview for it, and then approve for it. There is nothing prayer can do for you. There's nothing God can do for you. There's nothing Jesus can do for you. There's nothing Satan can do for you. There's nothing devil can do for you. There's nothing demon can do for you. There's nothing Mary can do for you. All that Virgin Maria, I mean, Jesus, Mary, but Virgin Maria, Nereaka is bullshit. Ask him for Jesus to, to show you mercy and Mary show you, uh, give, help you is bullshit. Jesus never existed. Mary never existed. And if you follow the stories they put in that book about that Mary and Jesus, you'll find that they are all bullshit. A God that can do all things have to impregnate a 13-year-old virgin to have a son in the world. And you say that God have sense. You say that God exists. And you believe that with that God, all things are possible. Then why are you suffering? If with God, with that stupid God, Jehovah, Allah, Yahweh, all things are possible, then why are you suffering? If you have any good reason for you to suffer, you will die in that suffering. But if you don't have, why can't you open your eyes, trash everything religion, use your brain, stop allowing religion to confuse you, limit you from thinking, uh, creating a hallucination in you and making you living in fear? You are the one that is letting religion to do all that. No God will give you any bread. You will go and work for your bread. You reap what you sow. You say you don't want to work, then you beg. You say you don't want to work or beg, then you steal. And if you're caught, you know what will happen to you. It is time you wake up and begin to use your brain. Activate your brain to know. You can know whatever you want to know. And you can do whatever you want to do when you have knowledge wake up and stop begging for daily bread begin to ask for what rightfully belongs to you did i say ask demand for it and fight for it until you get it we are coming up and we will recover all that they stole from us peace